ready for some cake. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is part two of the Dolly Parton um, baking product Pumpkin test. I will link part one where we did the banana cake and the fabulously fudgy brownies where we tested those. And part one, I will link that in the video, that video link in the description down below. And today in part two, we are going to do the um, Southern style coconut cake, which is here. And I used the same as the banana cake. I did the creamer, creamy buttercream frosting on this cake. And then we have over here the caramel turtle brownie right here. And that's what these are. So, and I made all of both of these. I did just like in part one, I did the easy recipe right here on the sides of the box. So first you want to go with cake. Brownie. Brownie first. Let's say brownie for last. Oh, no. Okay. So cake first. This cake, um, there's also a recipe on the back, just like with the banana cake one, if you want to make it a little more involved. This one, um, just the easy prep recipe that we did is it calls for one cup of milk, four large eggs, and a half a cup of melted butter. But if you would like to do the fancier recipe on the back, you're gonna need um, the mix, a cup of milk, half a cup of melted butter, the four eggs, um, this buttercream frosting, two cups of sweetened flaked coconut. Yeah, and then you make it in layers and do it like that. So, but I didn't do that. I don't like coconut. Disclaimer, I don't like coconut. I don't mind the flavor or the smell. I do not like the texture. I cannot have like the coconut flakes in my mouth. I don't like it. Um, I, I, ugh, it feels like there's like globs of hair in my mouth. I don't know, I cannot mm. take it. Now, I do like my mom has a recipe that for um, coconut cookies. So they're cookies, they have, taste like coconut, they smell like coconut, they're amazing but there's no coconut in them. It's only like coconut flavoring. So I might have to do a video on that one day, someday soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, in the meantime, we're gonna go with this coconut cake with the buttercream frosting. We're just gonna cut a small piece. And just try it. Okay. Does it have coconut in it? No, there's no coconut in it. It's only flavored. I have coconut in the pantry. Would you like me to get some and sprinkle on a piece mm -hmm. for you? Okay. Oh, thank you. You'll buy some in a minute. Yeah. I'm saving it for later. It's okay, but it's not like it tastes like coconut. It tastes like coconut? I should not. Probably it. It's soft. Is it dry? Mm. You're asking the wrong person. Okay. Rating? Mm, six. Six. Okay. I thought it would be an artificial flavoring like the banana. It actually tastes like real coconut. I should know about all the Mount Martha Washington I eat. That's true. Martha Washington, you love Martha Washington. It's okay. I would agree probably about a six. You want to try it? No. What do you think? What's your rating? Seven. Seven. Wow, that's surprising because he doesn't like coconut. Yeah, nope. I don't. Put that over there. <clears throat> Let's set this aside and get the brownies. Yeah, just one more bite. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're riding a struggle bus over here with that one. All right, brownies. This recipe, the easy prep we did, it calls for one egg, 
a half a cup of melted butter and three tablespoons of milk. But then there's also this um, on the back, peanut butter skillet brownie sundae, where yeah, they do it in a skillet. The picture looks pretty good. The picture looks amazing. Um, you need this, the egg, the melted butter, the milk, a third of a cup of creamy peanut butter, and a pint of vanilla ice cream. So that one looks really yummy. That's like one daddy would eat. Yes. Yeah. Now, this one has walnuts in the mix. You can't pick them out. They're already in the mix. You just open the brownie mix, dump it, and they're already in there. So if you don't like nuts in your brownies, walnuts, pecans, anything like that, then I don't recommend this. Or if you have a, an allergy, then I would not recommend this at all. So we're gonna go ahead and try it. And then it comes with a little pouch of caramel that after the brownies have baked and cooled completely, then you snip the corner and you drizzle the caramel. And the caramel smells good. It doesn't smell sweet. It almost smells like, focus, people. like it's been cooked on top of a stove, if that makes any sense. I gave the brownies nine and a half from part one, but I'm not so sure about this because I do not like nuts. Nuts. Yeah, but you also don't like coconut. Yeah. Yeah, but these are actual. So that's. I don't know. You see the nuts. Mm hmm. And it's not bad. It's, it's not cakey either. Crunch. It's more so like fuzzy. Fudgy like the other one? Mm -hmm. For a second, I thought you said fuzzy. It might fudgy. Yeah. And your rating? Eight. 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 Okay. Mmm, I like the flavor. Mm -hmm. I would say a nine. Over with. Hey, nobody's forcing you to eat them. I know. It would be really good with ice cream on it. And it would, yeah. I do think this would be and really milk. good. Ice cream and milk. See if I didn't get any nuts. Or did I? I don't know, but it's good. What do you think? Rate it without a mouthful of food. I'm also not someone who likes um, walnuts and brownies. I like plain brownies, or if there's gonna be anything in them, I want it to be something like chocolate, chocolate chips or M&Ms or something like Snickers or something like that that's gonna kind of melt. Yes, Snickers has peanuts. I'm not a walnut fan. I don't know, there's something about like that bitter aftertaste with the walnut, I'm not a fan of that. It's not fair. Sorry, I had to get a second bite with nuts in it. That I knew for sure. That's good. What do you rate? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. So the fudgy ones in part one, you said nine and a half. Yeah. And this is an eight and a half. Uh -huh. What did you rate the fabulously fudgy ones? Do you remember? I think it was either an eight or a nine. I think it might have been nine. Okay. All right. So between this and the other fudgy ones, which do you like better? The fudgy. Fudgy. Okay. And between the coconut cake and the banana cake, which do you like better? Banana. Coconut. Really? Okay. All right. Well, there you have it. You heard it here first. Um, we hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you can find some of these if you in your area or wherever you are. I did get all of mine from Walmart. That's where I found them. Um, my Kroger only had, I think, one of the cakes. It didn't have both or something like that. I couldn't find all of the products at Kroger. So, but I did find all of them at Walmart. So. That's going to do it for this taste test. We will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching, and we hope you have a great night. Bye. Bye-bye.